Hi, I'm Chad Gervitz, really wishing I drank coffee. It's 4.51 in the morning, and you're on late night philosophy. I can feel the toxins flying their way into my system, and my throat does not feel good. I had to end the last recording because I broke into a coughing fit. Why am I telling you this? Because I feel like it. Okay, okay, focus, let's get started. We're talking about Plato. Uh, he's the second to last one on our list. Um, we're specifically talking about Plato on morality and well-being. And, when you're talking about Plato and morality and well-being, you have to talk about Plato's beliefs about the soul. First of all, he believed we have one. Uh, not everyone believes this, but Plato did. Um, on top of that, though, instead of just a nebulous concept of the soul, he believed that the soul is broken into three parts. Those parts are the rational part, the spirited part, and the appetitive part. Uh, and they govern rational thought, passion and desire, respectively. Uh, passion is not the same as desire, but we will get to that. So, uh, the rational part of the soul, he believed, possessed knowledge, processed information, and was responsible for setting goals and making decisions. Um, so, basically, what the rational part of your soul is, is it's the part that he wants to encourage the most, because... Uh, most philosophers believe that rational thought is a very important, very necessary, very encouraging thing. So, he wants to encourage this part. So, if you have a properly functioning rational part of your soul, then Plato said you had the virtue of wisdom, in that you were able to always make excellent choices with knowledge and understanding, and select effective and appropriate means for accomplishing your goals. It sounds a bit cheesy when you put it like that, but basically it means that you were able to make good decisions and use rational thought with logic, reason, and the information that was presented to you to make reasoned, rational, good decisions that were beneficial to you and others. Uh, the spirited part is the one that helps us follow through of our plans, even if we're tired or scared. The spirited part is the only thing that's keeping me moving right now. Animated, not asleep, not in my bed where I so desperately want to be, or, you know, as a second best, not curled up in my, oh, yeah, not curled up in my sweatshirt, on a chair, like what happened last night. No, this is, this is pedal to the metal. We've got a desk in 3.30 and we gotta, gotta focus. And you're with me on this wild journey, whoever you are. I welcome welcome you to the spiral, as it is now. It is 4.54. Cool. Um, so if one has a properly functioning spirited part of your soul, Plato believed, then you have the virtue of courage. Um, and that just means fortitude or strength of will. So it's not just standing up to a lion or standing up to a bully, it's also the will to carry through with what you promise. You promise yourself, I'm going to study philosophy tonight so I don't fail this exam. Then do it. That is courage. you got to stick with it. Because sometimes in life we're going to come up against things that are difficult. You can do it. You can. You may not always believe in yourself. You may have moments of doubt. But you can. There's people who have been through so much, so many hardships and they've managed to come through it. The human spirit is indomitable, and it lurks within all of us. Some it is prominent, some it is hidden, and we all carry a dagger in our hearts. Embrace your courage and use it to accomplish your goals in life, and you will not fail. The final part is the appetitive part, and that is desire. Uh, this is the one that motivates us to seek basic animal pleasure. Eating, drinking, relaxing, you know, all that good stuff. In the modern age, video games, um, you know, literal libido and loss. That part, that's all the appetitive part. If one has a properly functioning appetitive part of the soul, then one has temperance. Because if your appetitive part gets out of control, you'll sort of do nothing but seek pleasure. And at that point, according to Plato and according to many other philosophers, you're a beast. Sucks. So... You want to be able to control yourself, control your pleasures, because otherwise you won't be able to accomplish the rational thought and the purpose that you have in life. So, those are the three parts of the soul. 
and the virtues that correspond to each part. Well, we're five minutes now, so I'm going to take a brief pause to contemplate life uh, before we move on to the second part, which will be Plato's account of the virtue of justice and what just and unjust action are. I'm Shai Griffiths. Welcome to the slow spiral into insanity, sleep, and the unknown. I'll see you next time.